Hey everyone, Justin Ward here with the Miserable Fence brand Adel Marva, bringing you episode 25 of our daily vlog. Make sure you check us out on social media, get in any questions, concerns, or arguments you might have. We would love to hear from you. Today I'm going to talk to you about choosing a layout. I think I talked about this in another video, but I, I wanted to go more into detail about it. Because I get a lot of people that just say they want it in the backyard or front yard, uh, but don't take into consideration of covering the other doors of their house or garage doors. Um, so with Invisible Fence brand, I try to make a complete loop all the way around the house. We not necessarily need to include the front yard, but we need to do, uh, we need to install something out front for you to cover your front door, your garage, or side door. Um, a lot of my clients, they just pinch it off at the back corner of the house, allowing the dog to run around the backyard, but not able to go up the sides of the house or around the, to the front. Um, we can do loops in the front and back to where you can cut off the sides, but not allow them to go from front to back or vice versa. Um, we can run the wire and install a solution for you just about any, anywhere you want. Um, we got very pie shaped yards, we got yards that are bigger on one side, and that's the benefit of working with the Miserable Fence brand is we can customize to your particular yard. Uh, a lot of people go to the store or online and get stuff uh, that is wireless, but it might not work because their yard is more long than narrow and um, it, it bleeds over into the neighbor's yard itself. So uh, I got people where they have more things going on in the back of the yard, so they want to just do something in the front because the front yard may be bigger. So. Like I said, we need to make a complete loop somehow, some way, and that it's better uh, from an engineering standpoint to work for you and your pet. From 18 years of experience, it's always nice to cover them doors, so I, I challenge people to take that into consideration because it's nothing like opening your door, and it might be only that 1% chance, um, but when relatives come over and you open that door and you went to grab them, uh, grab your pet, or the, them, the relatives themselves went to grab the pet and it just slips out of their fingertips and then they're gone. So. Uh, we try to prevent all uh, scenarios and like I said with 18 years of experience uh, we see dogs get out on the, the self-installed kits because people don't do the complete loop so uh, you want to do that and uh, usually I mean it's easy to, to uh, put your power source in any particular part of the house that's running that loop itself so again I, I challenge people to think about where they uh, want their dog to be and where they don't want to be what behaviors that the dog may be doing to uh, need a solution and what behaviors you want them to be doing. Um, with wired solutions, we've done up to 15 acres all the way down to uh, the size of a little patio. Um, so it, it's the Visible Fence brand has many solutions and it's very customized to your particular yard. Uh, more of the technology is where you're going, your your financial cost might be. So I'm not necessarily not worry about the wire itself or uh, how I'm going to lay out because of the price. Um, I'm just going to do what's working best for my pet and what's going to work best for me. So, like I said, that's my challenge for you guys to consider that when looking into an invisible fence. Uh, think about layouts. We can do many, many. Um, I would say there's probably a good hundred or to uh, two hundred different uh, layout designs that we can do for you and your pet. Um, it also comes down to if you don't want them out of flower beds or in pool areas, things like that. So, uh, made a design. So, I challenge you guys to do your homework on that and uh, reach out for any questions.